Hello summoners, welcome back to another damage comparison video and this one is going to be between Aegon and Strife who is also known as Mutant Aegon. So let's see if he is worthy of that title and both of these characters are 565 running the exact same mastery setup. So let me start by talking about their similarities and then we're going to discuss their pros and cons because both these characters they are really really powerful and in some areas one could be better than the other. So first of all similarities, there aren't many, uh, like we compare them basically because they are capable of hitting really really hard and they can carry over the damage from one fight to the other and Aegon he has his system and he can carry over hits till 999 combo and uh, Strife he has telepathic charges and you can store up to 100 so in build up wise I would say Aegon's build up is much longer like uh, we have done this is I think fourth fight in the easy path of labyrinth of legends and he was still not built up and I was like not running Zeus and masteries spamming sp1 before every single fight didn't lose a combo a single time so it takes him a while to, uh, and also like recently I was using him in incursions and uh, in sector 7 just for the top zone rewards and Till room 10 I was basically almost exclusively using Aegon and he reached like 400 combo which is like he doesn't really need 999 combo by any means is like the unblockable is nice uh, like here we are at that stage um, another thing I want to talk about is the fact that both of these characters with some certain synergies building them up is much easier like uh, with Aegon, uh, again no synergies are required in order to build them up but with Aegon, uh, if you don't want it to be too stressful, uh, you can bring Proxima or maybe Nick Fury with uh, the Quake synergy for the evade charges and that is kind of a safety net that if you mess up then you won't immediately lose your combo. And similarly with Strive there are some synergies which uh, allow you to start the fight while you're phasing basically and by missing the attacks you can build up your charges so as you can see like Aegon is pretty much done here and I have been taking some hits using the heavy attack trick and if you do that then you do lose some health do keep that in mind like when I usually uh, if I was doing a labyrinth path with Aegon and trying to conserve items I wouldn't have gone for those that many uh, like I wouldn't have taken that many hits for the Furies. Alright so the video is about to end but I quickly want to mention that both these characters they not only have damage they also do have utility which is very different and if you want to know more about utility that Strife brings you can watch my Abyss video and the against Medusa you can see him uh, removing unstoppable buffs and getting that passive stuns and uh, also like uh, uh, becoming unblockable when Medusa's auto blocks so that is going to do it for this one thanks for watching have a nice day overall not that much difference between the time if you ask me and they're both pretty viable options for labyrinth and abyss but subscribe to the channel like this video share with your alliance and bye bye stay safe